All right, welcome back. In this video, we'll go over how to fill in forms using Selenium in Python. We will go over how to fill in text fields, select fields, checkboxes, as well as entering dates in data input elements. For the purposes of this video, I have created a simple contact form, which you can find by going to this link. It is just a simple form that has all the inputs that we'll cover as well as a submit button that when you click on it will show a submit successful notification the data isn't sent anywhere and there isn't any validation with any of the input fields so this is just something we will use to be able to practice working with selenium to fill out forms so to start i just have some starter code here to initialize the web driver and to get the web page so the first input field that we will learn how to work with in Selenium is the text input field. So we will first need to be able to select this element. To select it, we will first inspect it. And this will allow us to look at the layout of the entire web page structure. Now the element that we're looking in particular is this text input field. And to select it, the easiest way to do so is by copying its x path so we can get the x path by right clicking on the element that we're trying to select going over to copy and then clicking on copy x path and although there are two options to copy the x path copying the full x path is usually not something you want to do since it is less robust and if the web page changes even a little your script might not be able to work so it's best to just copy the relative x path which is what clicking on copy x path will give within our python script i will create a new variable called name input and this will be the input element which we can select by using element. and to tell selenium how we want to select it we need to import by from selenium webdriver.common.by and since we want to select it by the x path we can specify by dot x path as the first argument and as the second argument we can paste the x path that we copied and we need to be careful when we're working with double quotes here since the x path contains double quotes so we need to switch to single quotes for declaring our string now that we have selected the element what we want to do is to enter some text within the text field which we can do using the send keys method and as you can see within the documentation what this does is that it essentially simulates typing into a certain element so if for example i enter my name as an argument to the send keys method that will be entered to the text field that we selected once we run the script but before we do that i will also use driver.quit so that once the script has finished executing the browser will close and i will also pause the script execution for a few seconds by importing the time module so that we have some time to see what has happened within our browser but this isn't something you need to do so if we run our script now we can see that selenium automatically fills in whatever i've entered as an argument to the send keys method within the input field and the next input field that we will look at how to work with is the select element this is something where we first need to click on the element and then select from a few options and within the dev tools you can see that how this is structured is that we have a select element and within that we have all the options that are possible for that particular input so before we look at how to select the input that we want we first need to select the correct element which we can do once again by using the x path so copy the x path and use it to select the element within my python script and to work with the select element to select the input that we want there is actually a built-in class that allows us to do this we can import it from selenium.webdriver.support.ui 
and we can import the select class. We can then create a new variable or call mine select. And then we can initialize a new select class and we will pass in the select input field that we are trying to work with. And on this select variable that we have created and initialize, we can now use it to select the option that we want. There are a few methods to do this, such as using select by index, select by value, and select by visible text. Select by value refers to the value that the developer has specified within the HTML tag. But the one that will probably be the most useful is select by visible text, which is the actual text you see on the input field. So just for this example, I will select the third item, which has a visible text of item three. So if we run our script again, we can see that the third item is automatically selected. For the next input field, we'll be looking at how to select the checkboxes. If we look at the structure here, it is essentially just three input fields and a few labels to indicate to the user what that option is. But the element that we're trying to select is the chat box since that is what we are actually clicking on as a user. And this chat box is represented by the input tag within the HTML. So if for example I want to click on and to select the second chat box, I will right click to copy its X path to select it within Selenium. Once the element has been selected, we can then use the dot click method to simulate a user clicking on that element. And since these are chat boxes, which means that we can select multiple of them at a time, if we wanted to select the third chat box as well, we can basically do the same thing of copying the X path and using the dot click method on it. So if we run our Selenium script here, we can see that those two checkboxes are checked once we run it. Alright, so now the last input element that we'll look at how to fill is the input date element. Now, some websites may use custom input elements, so it might not work. But the one that we're looking at in particular is, is the standard date picker. So the usual way that the user would select a date from this input element is by clicking on the icon and perhaps selecting a date but that will be quite difficult to do with a selenium and that isn't the best way to go about doing it so an easier way of actually entering a date to this input element is, is first by clicking on it and we can just type out the numbers of the date and it will be entered within the date field so right now if i click on the date input element and i Click on my keyboard 01012019. It actually enters the date of 11 2019. And that's much easier to do with Selenium because we can just select the element, click on it, and use the send keys method. So, to show you what exactly I mean, we will first select the element using the X path. Once it has been selected, we will then click on it. And then I'll use the send keys method to simulate key presses. So I'll specify the argument 01012019 to specify that as the date. And that is exactly what I showed previously. If you just entered 01012019 on your keyboard, once you have clicked on the date input element, it will be the date that has been selected of the date element. And you can change this to any date that you need. So if we run our script now, we can see that the date has been automatically entered. And we didn't have to go through the trouble of using the date picker. Now the last thing that I will show is how to click on this submit button 
to be able to submit the form once we have filled in all of the input elements. And to do that, it is exactly the same as how we clicked on the chat boxes, which is to first select the element by the X path and then using the click method on it. And just so that I can showcase the Selenium script filling in all of the input fields, I will pause this script execution for two seconds at the beginning. This isn't something that you need to do, but I'm just doing it to showcase how everything works. So if you run our script, after two seconds, it fills in all of the input fields as what we have, as what we have specified within our script, and then it clicks on the submit button. And once all of that is done, it closes the browser after another two seconds. So that's how to work with one of the common input fields you see on the web today using Selenium and Python. If you have any other input fields you'd like to see how to work with using Selenium, feel free to comment them below or if you have any feedback as well. But besides that, that's all for this video. If you have enjoyed this video or if this video has helped you, please consider possibly subscribing or liking this video to help my channel grow and to see more of such content. Thank you.